Hey, hey, how's it going, y'all? It's Joni with Weathered Wings. It, this is an iFlex board. Most of the iFlex products are the ones that you heat up and you bend. It's molding kind of like, but this is a tray and it's um, just a whole piece. It already has the the flowers on there. It's just part of it. So what I thought I would do is the oh, the rose chintz paint inlay. I thought since this had these flowers on here that maybe I could get some of this on here. And what I thought might be easier if I could just cut some up. Okay, I'm not going to try to fit it in there. I'm going to just cut it. And I mean, I already have. I've cut a few pieces out. So they come in sheets. They come in um, 12 by 16 sheets. And I have just cut some out all right and so what this is is actually it's just paint okay it's paint on paper um and then there's these little grid lines that you use you see those that has to be facing you that has to be facing you okay so i just the first thing i did i said okay i'm just going to kind of lay out just kind of see and this is kind of like what i do with transfers just kind of, all right, so that'll go there. Because if you can see, I just kind of cut a little piece and connected the stem right here. And I thought, well, maybe that'll look good. So actually it's here, I need something. And, and I'm, I'm not gonna try to fit it nice like that. I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit easier. So I think this right here may look good. All right. But see, you'll want to kind of lay it like this, but no, you have to turn it over. So I think that would probably look pretty good. It doesn't matter. It's now I'm going to use uh, Vintage Linen by DIY. I'm actually just going to go ahead and paint these. I'll probably have to come back with another coat. And this, um, so like I said, this was paint couture paint. These inlays do better with a chalk paint. Aren't these pretty, y'all? Look at this. It just, so look at the difference. Look, ugh, it's so pretty. So I think this rose chintz is gonna be really pretty. And then I would probably, um, I'm just gonna like maybe hit the high points with some gold or something. So see, this doesn't take long. Now this, I'm using DIY paint and it's covering really well this. I'm only gonna need this one coat on here, on, on the roses part, but, or they're not all roses, they're just flowers. But when you go to do the inlay, so you lay that in wet paint. So I will put, put on the inlay in wet paint. I mean, this is not the, in the instructions. We'll see if it helps. All right, so I'm gonna just lay it right here. All right, and so I'm just gonna pat it down. Oh shoot, I put my hand right there. And also y'all, if you do it in little sections like this, you know, maybe you can just come back and add some paint. Now I'm just gonna tap it down first with my fingers. So I'm just using my spritz bottle. Okay, and I'm just gonna tap it down. Here I'm gonna 
I'm gonna use my brayer. That kind of gets some of the wrinkles out. All right, so what I'm gonna do though, y'all, I don't know, I'm gonna add a little bit more paint right here. Cause this paint kind of dries up quickly. And and it will um, start dragging as well. So that's why I'm spritzing it with water. I'm just getting my paint moving, okay? Wetting it again, all right. And I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna spritz the front. So now this is a damp piece of cheesecloth. Use my brayer just right here. You know, and it all, I think really it all depends on the kind of paint you're using, the amount of paint you're using. And because this paint tends to dry up on me quickly, All right, so see this paint right here is kind of dry. So that's the, that's the issue with doing it separately. All right, so I'm just gonna spritz this right here. Add a little more paint. Now, I don't know if you would do this with, with every paint, okay? But I know with DIY paint, this is just what I always do anyway. When I'm painting another coat, I wet it to keep it, to get it moving again. Now, I'm spritzing the painted side, okay? And then I'm gonna turn it over and I am going to have the grid lines facing me, facing up. Now, you can tell when you're patting it if, it, uh, if it's um, too dry. So let me show you. So see right in here how it's real faded? And see how this is really green? So I need to wet that, okay, and press it in. Wet this, wet my rag. Yeah, that may work right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do actually, instead of add more paint, I'm just gonna spritz this paint. Okay, and I'm gonna spritz this. I'm gonna turn it over, the grid lines are gonna face me. Just having it come in light right there. All right, so I'm about ready to um, dry it now. I think I'm going to dry it with the hair dryer. Okay, so now you spritz it. You wet it again. All right. All right. Because it's not supposed to, um, It's not supposed to tear. Wow, that little red 
that even got on there, y'all. I don't think I'm breathing. <laughs> oh. y'all it worked all right i'll set this up there because y'all you can use that again look it has a lot of color left still on there and you can you can actually use these again so what what would be good to do with this is maybe a book you know you could put it on a book like this okay so let me show you so it did it did pretty well i mean i think that's about the best you can hope for all right so let's uh let's keep going So y'all, I, I think I'm gonna go out on a limb and say to spritz it before laying it down. Because honestly, this is the best mine has done. bring out my gold um, and stir it up just a little bit and guys you don't have to do it over white paint but it is so pretty over light baby blue this is so sweet looking so it doesn't have to be um, you do it over whatever color you think you would like all right so I'm gonna just take my um, stick where I rub the gold and dab it on my finger and just kind of put it a little on the top here. You can also use Rub and Buff. Um, this is this is Paint Couture in Pale Gold. Okay, this is really sweet. really sweet. I love it. I love it. Can y'all see that gold? Get the gold up close. See, I love it. I love it. I thought it was perfect for this, uh, this little piece. 